cursives were? I have no idea yet. I didn't. I wasn't the one that went through them. So there's one. That should be second. That should be both. Yeah. That should be third. And fourth. And then there. That should be reverse, isn't it? There you go. I'll try to try that. See if it's reverse. No, it's in neutral. It's not gear yet. It's going around. Is it? Oh yeah. All right. Try to try it again. Doug's in the house. I'm going to be working on his car in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> got the transmission pan. Got the got the linkage geared up. Got the shifter ball put on it. We had a shifter ball down the down the other house. Went down there and grabbed that. Doug's just playing with it. Got the engine geared up. Got the wires and the valve pan covers just put on it. Just just kind of dummying it up. You know what I mean? What it's going to look like. And um, I'm going to be happy with it. We still got the stickers put on, but we're not going to go through that before we put it in. But we plan on putting this in the 40, and uh, that's what we plan on doing. And that's the engine transmission. I think I'm going to call it a good one, to be honest with you. Doug thinks I got a good deal, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. There you go. That's all that matters. Doug brought us some beer and pizza <laughs> from Ponto. From Ponto and Wolfo. Yeah. And Jolene said she used to go there all the time when she was at a cake. Did you not? Yeah, no? I did. It was good pizza. Thank you. It was. Pronto. <laughs> Come on in. And, well, I've got to wash my hands for a second. I've got to wash my hands. Um, I'm going to go in there and take the tape and the, some paper off of Doug's car and uh, see what it looks like. But this is Doug's first time looking at it. Doug's playing with that transmission like he wants to give her another gear. Trying to get her to go there. Everything all right, Doug, is it? I don't know yet. Don't know yet. It's kind of a shitty place to have it up there, I know, but it is what it is. But I did get it painted up, got the starter all painted on the side, of it, all the detail on the side of the engine. I'm going to use the headers that, work, that come on the engine. We just put the old, just putting it back together, just playing with it to make it look like a visual or what I want it to look like. Doug went and bought us, Doug bought us a few toys yesterday, didn't he, Doug? Yeah, a couple. Yeah, he bought us a few toys yesterday. He's cool. A little motorcycle guy, a dozer, and a tractor, a wind-up tractor that pulls the sound like a tractor when it goes. Yeah. We was invited, but we decided to stay and work. <laughs> Give me a bit. Yeah. All right, we're going to pull the tape off. The only thing we have not got sanded is the front, and I told Jolene I want to do that with her just to be with Jolene. <laughs> So I'm just going to rip the, rip, actually start ripping off the paper and the tape because we got everything where we want it, everything sanded. You can go around it if you like to there. I'm just going to take it off. I'm going to try to get it off. And that's, that's a good reason right there why I like to take the paper off. See how that primer flaked off that tape? Flaked off that. Now I get blowing that with a gun, get blowing that and have a flake of that come off into the paint or have the gun go on that, um, I would not be very happy. And yeah, no, and so you see all the little tiny particles that come off. When the fresh paint goes down, that stuff would adhere to the fresh paint just like like no other. It'd be hard to get, you know, it's hard to get off. So I'm just gonna take it off now. And that way there, we can be assured if we blow it off that it should be gone. Basically, all I'm going to do is unmask it. I told Doug we were eating pizza and drinking beer, but he's not allowed to touch it. <laughs> but he can if he wants, because he owns it. <laughs> but I'd rather just... And you can see all the, the fuss that's coming off of that. You don't want anything to do with that. Just want it. We blow this bad boy down. We blow, see, here's another thing. Come look at this. See how we got this tape in there? Now, if that would have been taped off and the paint would have got on top of that, it would have bridged it, and then you would have had all the time getting it off. Right? Miles to get it off now and not bridge it for next time. And that's what I was talking about. When you tape something up, you want to tape the top surface, but you do not want to bridge it. You come in and come see how we're bridging it. See how the primer's bridging that? See the primer's bridging onto the, the tape? 
And that's what happens here. We'll have to get a little sandpaper in there and fix that. You can see where that done that. And that's what happens. So we'll always try to take, just take the visible surface that you see. You start tucking it. And then you'll be in the position I am right this second. And I'm somewhere, right there is the reason why I want to take that tape off. If I painted that and put paint over top of that and had primer over top of that, I go dig that off, what would happen? You know, you'd be in a mess. And ask me how I know, <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. Sometimes, I, I've had, I've put clear on a car so thick before because I wanted lots of material on the car. I put it on post so thick before that I had to cut the tape off the razor blade to get the tape off. So I mean, I had to go around the whole car to cut the tape off. It was not fun after just painting the car to raise the blade it off. It was not fun. And you generally should rip off your tape with, you know, ease, I guess. You shouldn't be, you know. On something like this, where the tape is on here like this line, when we go to unmask this, I will pull up on the tape. And then, and that's properly masked right there. So you have it's just on the face of it and you got a little tiny gap going on there. It's properly masked, easy to pull off. That's the way it should have been, right there. Good job, Joe Ray. Good job. I'm going to take the side off. I'm going to take this off because it's building up on the edge. As we're, as we're painting this car, you, you must realize that the primer is building up on that tape, so there must be an edge there. Got to be an edge. Got to be. I stand, I stand, I stand. There's the brand new silver underneath it. We'll just go slow. We'll just go slow. Coming off now, just because it's on the tape. Sometimes it's not good to have the customer right here, but <laughs> Doug is not a customer. Doug's a friend. <laughs> Doug will understand if anything happens. Won't you, Doug? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? He was a customer. I would, man, you gotta stay out. Can't come in for a week. That's what we wanted, though. We just want that to come off nice. We're not gonna take any of this tape off. I don't think there's no sense taking that off. We will cut it maybe to open the doors up to see what's going on. And I really have to stress that when we're pulling the tape off, to go easy, you know, go easy. I was going to take a heat gun to it just to warm the glue up, but the way the tape's pulling off the top of this other tape, it seems to be going very nice. We want to stay friends with the guy that painted the silver. <laughs> right? We want to keep it on the car, don't we, Doug? Do you want a two-tone gray? No. We're done. <laughs> no, we don't want two tone gray. Joan, will you know, help me tape it up again, I'm sure, will you? Yeah. You'll help me tape it up again. Pinstripe, so he's going black, silver, red pinstripe. We couldn't talk him into any green. We had no green in him whatsoever. Isn't that what? Isn't it British racing green? Isn't that the big deal? Isn't that? Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. Isn't. Dusty in there, baby. Yeah, it's pretty good in there, isn't it? Huh? 
Only a little bit of primer sprayed on that wood. <laughs> <laughs> Also, when we retape it, the, the tape will come off easier next time because we'll just put one, you know, we're not taping it up to prime for it to stay, not get anything. We'll do a really nice job on it and it'll peel off because it only have one layer on it. The primer builds up quite thick. And that's what primer does, and that's what primer's for, is for the buildup, to make it look right. To make it look right. I'll finish the front window. Ouch. Get underneath my fingernail. I can put that primer on with that, on that tape. Look how thick that is, that primer on that tape. Oh, yeah. Quite thick, isn't it? Like, I mean, good job. It does the deal. That's what we put primer on for, is that for the build, for the build of the product, I guess we call it. Here's another piece that might be tucked. Makes it harder to get off when she's tucked. Jim was supposed to be coming over today, was he not? I think so. Jim Patterson, he's supposed to be coming over today. Hopefully we see him soon before you shut the video off. Come over and take a look at this. Can you see that? See how the, see how the, the paint is on, how it's bridged? Mm -hmm. We don't want that on the paint, the process. We don't want that. And that's something you learn as you go, <laughs> is it not? You learn as you go. I'm looking through that camera, cutting. <laughs> See if we can get it off here. <clears throat> I don't know if I got it wrong. What? Yeah, that caused an issue. See. The, that's good though. I'd rather have it taken off so I can sand that there and then have that there. And if you know what I'm trying to say, I'll cut this off. Put the primer there. And I'll come in there and I'll just sand that to fix that. When, not now, when I get some new, pa new tape on it. That's when I'll come in and fix it. That's what that new tape's doing. See what that tape's doing? That tape Doug brought even film and that's the only reason why I can tell that you know it stuck good I just knew it wasn't automotive you can get it in a store right but that's what it's doing with a little bit of the glue come off with the glue come off and most of the most of the automotive stuff don't see we're down here on again we're okay. it's my fingernail Ooh, that hurt And there's the issues we would have had in a handbag. That's the issues we would have had in a handbag. Just getting the tape off. If I painted that over top of that, we'd have two to three layers of paint over top of two to three layers of primer, and we would have been in trouble. Wouldn't we, baby? We'd have been in trouble. But now that we're doing this, we have saved ourselves. We have saved ourselves. I want to talk to Jim about that contract he signed with, with the big fella up above. I want to sign one. 
<laughs> I want you. We'll have to get that off. That just rubs off by your hand, no problem at all. But in all honesty, this is something that you do not want to be into when you're after you're done painting is trying to get the tape off. That's not something that you want to do when you're painting something. You want to be able to get the tape off as easy as possible. And that glue that that left on there, that tape, just rub it off your finger. It comes off like that. It's easy peasy. I must say the stainless is a nice shape for having the windows in and out on this. Mm -hmm. You know, they did a good job on that part. You know, they didn't beat your stainless all up. Your windows have both been in and out and they didn't beat your stainless all up. So you'll have to give them a big hooray for that. Yeah, well, you did a good job. You did a good job. I'll go around the other way so you can put a window on the Mercedes convertible and a window on the Mercedes to the head for me as well. Okay, what are you going to smash the windows up? No, they, 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 they get a little bit of my, my son in you. Uh, ah. Just saying, uh, you know, over the years, it, 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 it gets so, particularly when you got old eyes at night. Uh, I hear you. You want a new piece of glass put in it? That's good. I've had I've had stuff done in the past that I don't like to talk about that bad stuff, but that I've had some some damage yeah. before. You know, I mean, let's face it. There's you can damn like I guess I talk about that all the time. When you're doing stuff like this, you got to be careful of damage. Yeah. Okay. Like, it doesn't matter who you are, if you're a mechanic or a glass person or a whatever, damage is damage. And, and, and in life, whoever damages it should be the one to pay for it. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? That's the way it goes. Uh, That's when I went over and picked the car up, it was comical. Gary, Gary was, uh, he met Gary in the office and Gary says, uh, I've got something i got to show you. And he was all worried about it. And yeah. come from some other shop we go and, and here there's some paint peeled off on, on the hood and, yeah. and uh, a couple places where they, where they the tape uh, yeah. uh, to hold the, the uh, stainless down. Yeah. And when it came off, the paint came off, and he says, uh, uh, I, I don't know what to do. Don't worry about it. I said, the car's going to be painted. <laughs> All great. is well. It was worth his honesty. Oh, yeah. 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 up after that. <laughs> Listen, you know, there's a difference, you know? When you damage something, that means you have. Well, we're hoping that we, we, we've got past that, Doug. We're hoping. I know we had a little bit of paint down along here, but we sanded it and sanded it. Well, and... well, here we were. The best we were. There's a little spot there we're going to have to fix. Put a little sandpaper. We'll take a little 220 first because it'll course. And we'll take a little 220 and hit 400 and be done with it. We'll come around that corner. We'll come around the corner just like Johnny Cash. Doug, you like Johnny Cash singing? Some of it. Yeah. Some of it. Yeah. I'm gonna let that glue dry in there. That's good, get that one off. Prefer Willie Nelson. You prefer Willie Nelson? Yeah, I like that. You like the, the yeah, I like the Willie Nelson. Yeah. I would probably say there's a, probably a few hard miles on all of them, if you know what I mean, in that business, if you know what I'm saying. It's like going with the Hank Williams say, they don't change family tradition. So they probably just live just as hard as they did when they were, you know. Yes, I am glad that we're ripping the tape off, the tape off. Like it would have been a, would have been a job. It is a job right at this present moment, but it would have been a bigger job if we had left it on and put more material over it again. You can see all the stuff, the dirt that's falling out of that. Wow. Like it's just, wow. We might even take a little bit of time, me and Jolene, after a bit. We might just push the car ahead a little bit and blow the paint room out a little bit more. And let's face it, we will keep cleaning right to the end. Like basically that's about it. Keep cleaning right to the end. 
all the like the doors and the ceiling with do a little press labels, print on it, keep it wet. We will not blow it down the day before. We'll blow it all down the night before. We will not get a hose start disturbing stuff. We'll just blow it all down the night before we spray it, and then we'll just come in and pack and blow the car down. Get blowing stuff around and paint or something. Done that too. I call it metallic. So good. Fingers crossed and everybody. My fingers crossed and everybody. You know, we'll have to come in here and get a little primer. A little primer put on the on the rubber there. We'll have to come in there and take that off. And how we take that off is we'll just take a, a razor blade and just kind of scrape it. You know what I mean? It'll 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 chip off. And that's how we'll do that. We will not get a bunch of thinner and start hitting it. Won't do that, we'll just get a razor blade and chip it off like a little bit at a time. Ooh. Jim hasn't had his Ferrari yet, has he? Did he get something put in the hole? He's got something. He's uh, he was busy. Uh, they had single contact, and they wanted double contact, and so he was busy converting the socket. But he got to get something. Made. Okay. He had a lens in the hole. Then. He had he had uh, the thing on the bench. Okay. Remember that day we went in there? He didn't want to touch any hand, and he had red things everywhere mm -hmm. on the bench and on the table. They were hanging. You wouldn't think that you would paint a car in there, but. He does. Turned out good for what he did too. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I was amazed at the job he did. Uh, yeah. He might have started with a scale model to, to know what uh, it should look like when he's done. <laughs> Pretty amazing, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got a contract and I haven't got one. I want to know what's going on. Yeah, if you want to see something funny, uh, uh, we should have seen him giving us directions on how to get the highway from this place. <laughs> Well, you can go down here and then you turn right, but, but you can go left if you want. <laughs> yeah, you can go right and left, and then it'll all come together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to go with the boot. The stiffy was in the dust. You can go left, you can go right, it'll all bring yeah, you back. It all comes back to the same place. <laughs> the hands going. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. We're so lucky we didn't paint that, baby. We're so lucky we didn't paint that. The tape that's down on top of there, just so just lucky that we didn't tape it, that's all. Or paint it, I'm just so sorry. Paint, I'm talking, paint, I'm talking. Just get it off, do it all. And that right there is why we want to re-tape the car, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason right there. Good though. It's going good. Whole wheat shreddies. Ouch. That hurts under the nail, I know that. I'm gonna get you to dig that. You're gonna do camera work and dig at the same time? <laughs> can you do that, can you? Probably. Let's get this one here. So we'll tape them off again, then we'll run a little 400 up in there and freshen a few places up where it's not fresh. And this is the point in time, if you see any scratches or any pecs, <laughs> she's gonna show. She's gonna show. Now how do I know that? I've done it. <laughs>
Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, like, but, like, but he said that happened. If you can't paint him here, what are you talking about? I paint all my cars here, man. You know what I mean? I just, I don't want to get to the winery that long. I mean, there's, there's not a blemish on that anywhere. It's a beautiful thing. Yep, seems to go all right. I mean, see that red spot up there? Yes. I was painting that car, and there was a fly flying around my head. And I, I went, the the wall. Yeah, I, went, <laughs> I screwed into the wall, I did a bunch of dirt coming down on the hood of that car. Uh, I remember that one. I won't chase the flies around next time, will I, sweetheart? Remember that? Mm -hmm. That's going on there. That's good. Just that. Just that. That's good. I thought I'd do that. I'm just going to peel this off. I'm going to get around the front here. Keep dropping along. Everything's going good so far, people. Keep your fingers together. Take that up. We'll go just to the face of it. We'll not tuck anything. We'll run a little paper in there and feather that off. Oh, good. Feather that off. Good. We got a back window to do. Come on. Keep doing. You got that taped on there. Good. I can't get my fingers. Good. <laughs> take it on there. Do it, boys. You got anything on there? You can touch it if you like. Drive it smooth. Just like a baby's bum. Sure, I to say that's where you touched it. I messed up enough to get me the wrong package of tape. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. I wouldn't use it if I thought it was going to be that bad, but I used it because you bought it. That's the way I am. <laughs> the only reason I use Windex is because I never had the money for the pre-wash, and I wanted to wash and paint my car. And that's the reason I went down and got it. I said, well, what can it hurt? You know, you know, I won't paint my cars. So that's why I went down and got Windex. And I know it works as I use it. And, and that's how I know it works. Um, it's from having, I just, from, it's from not having the material that I needed. And now that I know 
that it works, why would I buy the stuff that they tell me to when I know something else works? Did you wash that engine down with WD-40? No, uh, uh, no, no WD -40. spray nine. Spray nine. Just spray nine and uh, the wire brush. It was it was halfway clean, you know. It's not like it wasn't terrible, but it's a lot easier than using the solvent. Well, just I didn't want to get all stinky and. I didn't want to go buy anything again. I had to spray them, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that. It works. You know, if you if you if you want to use it, it'll work. Just go to your mother's underneath your mother's kitchen sink and it'll be there. <laughs> All right? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I'll tell you a little about 15, 16 I'll tell you a little secret. I'll tell you a little secret about spraying on. Every once in a while Chandy becomes you know, he's a Canadian and he, he smokes a left hand cigarette once in a while and I get cigarette stains on my teeth and I wash it with spray nine. <laughs> Washes right off, Doug. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever look to see what the ingredients were? <laughs> oh yeah, as long as it don't have um, the crossbones. Oh, it's good. Yeah, okay. It's even got a lemony smell, isn't it? Yeah, yeah can't always go by the smell. <laughs> I won't hurt you that stuff. That stuff there, I won't hurt you. Spray nine on a little cloth there. <laughs> oh yeah, I brush my teeth every night too, but I can't I can't stop the, the coffee stains and you know what I mean the old nicotine stains sometimes and yeah, they'll spray on on the cloth, give them a little white, will come right back again. Somewhat, I guess. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to go to the dentist. You know, I'm cheap ass. I go to the dentist at least once a year. Do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't been there in 10 years. If I did that, I wouldn't have any teeth in my head. Well, that's where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a new set. They put them in the metal thing. I want to get like a new set. I'd like to have, have a new grill. You, you may not like that at all. Why? Flopping around, you got to glue no, them in. No, no, no. I don't, want the, I don't want the dentures. I want the ones that stay right in. They put it right on the spikes. They, they, they break those up, but I'm not sure they work all that good. <laughs> and, and if you're getting the proper thing on the spikes, they're, they're expensive. Like you're, you're yeah, about. I know. That's why I've got a thousand dollars a tooth. <laughs> How many teeth do you want? <laughs> well, I'd like to have a new set. You look kind of funny with two or three teeth. <laughs> <laughs> like I always said, those who beat to their own drum shape the world. Yeah. <laughs> two teeth or not. I've been gaining a bit of weight lately. Maybe I should yeah. lose some teeth. Well, four teeth, you can strain your soup. <laughs> Just grand conversations, that's all. <laughs> grand conversations. Huh? Yeah. We're getting her. Slowly, we're getting her. So I'm glad we're peeling it off, though. I don't give out that information too much anymore because someone at home might try it. <laughs> oh, we're so lucky we're peeling that off, aren't we, baby bye? Huh? We, 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 we dodged a bullet there. We dodged a bullet right there, getting that tape off, didn't we? We dodged a bullet. And you know what that's from? That's from knowing. A little bit, a little bit experience. Pull the dug on it. I knew. So, masking up your car, just because we're doing this one here, you should use the automotive masking tape. And, and the reason I'm saying that, the masking tape tape did a, the mask tape that Doug gave us did a good job. It taped off the area that we need it. But you can see how it's leaving the glue back on. It, it comes off very easy as long as you leave it for a second. But that's what's going on, a little bit of glue hanging on. And we would not have wanted that after we had painted it and then pulled the tape off. So we'll use, we got a, a roll from the Napa know-how store and we'll use that stuff, the proper tape for that. And back in the day, I would have used electrical tape if I need to, you know, if I would have had to tape it up, I would have used what I've needed, but let's face it. Sometimes things can cause you issues. 
And that's just the glue rubbing off. So we'll get that glue all off. Make sure that's all done before we mask it up again. Look, we got dirt underneath there. So we take some dirt underneath. And that should have been done, but then we got it done. I'm gonna to go to the other side and pull the tape off the other side and move the glue over here. Find the glue comes off easier if you leave it for a second and then just roll right off base. In some of the places. Jim would come over and tell him good news. I'm gonna help mow down his car. Hope he comes over before he sees this video. <laughs> I'm going to paint a gas pump or an air station for John, I hope. Hope he John's done a lot for me over the years, so I'm gonna pay him back a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. I got the chance, why wouldn't I? That's how I feel, I got the chance. Same way. <laughs> I'm so glad we did that. Major fresh new paint job and that all going down on it? Mm. That'd be terrible. You know, that would stick. Mm. Stick to a new paint job. Ugh. It would like stick, stick, but it would be hard to get off. And then you'd be swiping at it. And the more you swipe at it, the more you scratch your paint. Anytime you wipe the paint with a rag, you'll scratch it. Mm. Whenever you wipe it, black or whatever like that, I don't care what it is. You wipe it with something, you're, you scratch it. Or it looks like it's scratched, anyways. Ouch. How long will it take to paint the cure? Um. The, the night will do it. I'll paint it that day and it will be dry in the morning. But let's face it, you can't you know, start throwing rocks at it right away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll just leave it be for a couple of days. You know? They got the paint pretty well figured out now. If you're mixing it right, you should, it should dry pretty quick. Yeah. And I'm only going to put enough paint on it so it looks good. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean, I'm not going to try to have three big heavy wet coats and make sure that I'm gonna, when it looks nice, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Uh, just because paint's thin, or, a thinner coat of paint is generally nicer than a thick coat of paint. A thick coat of paint is laying there, and a thin coat of paint is sticking there, generally. You know, if you know what I'm trying to say? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You want to have paint on everything, but just because it's thicker doesn't mean it's better. That's what I'm trying to say. You see the glue just stuck on there, and we'll just get that rolled off. Just let it dry for a second, comes off. That glue's cleaning your stainless up nice. It's a tricky job putting that stainless in. Oh, and that rubber. Yeah. I think, it, I'm not sure. I'm... Yeah, you use urethane. It fits under a lip, and then you urethane it down. No doubt. I left one plant all night and unhooked it and then come back on me. Bit me, didn't it? Remember that morning, the yellow pear? Mm -hmm. Window popped off. There, man. That fell off. Yeah, just rub that off. Just let that dry for a second. That's just dust, is it not? Yeah, just dust. Cool. I don't see any reason why we have to rip the back off. Do you? See, but then again, you probably will. Probably. 
probably will just because. Go slow, Chad, go slow. some more tape off. I'm going to go with this gray here. I'm going to get this off. I'm scared. Huh? I'm scared. I just don't want any glue left on. I don't want to pull anything off or you know what I'm trying to say. Make sure that's not. Can we go back over the other side with lights good? Yeah, sure. Here we go. We're going back to your side with lights good. that off and the reason saying we're going to peel that off is because the ledge of the primer I want to see what that ledge is if I have to put new tape on and sand it down a little bit I will but 400 mind you just gonna go easy I'm just gonna go easy on this here just go easy I'm not gonna pull that off crazy I don't want to cause any issues not even close I'm dry Going through the gears again. What? Me and Doug will drive over top of you. <laughs> I'm nervous. Look, you see the dot? Look, you see that? What's that mean? There's dust and dirt coming up through there, so it's a good thing that we put on the tape there, you know? It's a good thing that we put the tape on. Look. Uh -huh. Look at that, would you? Huh? Look at that, would you? Hmm? Good thing you did that, Chaddy. Huh? Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to hold the edge of the tape up with the razor blade so I can roll it back. I might just take I might take the heat gun and just put a little heat on that tape just so it don't feel like it's so sticky. Just loosen the glue up a little bit. I think I might do that. I think it's worth it. I think I will cover the seams back up for this tape. This tape's coming off easy, but it's not coming easy off where that line is, I can tell you that. Basically, the name of the game here is to go slow and pay attention. That worked out really well, that piece. I like that. Up here, up here, is this just one piece of tape, maybe? Uh, I think we did two. Didn't we? I'm gonna get the heat gun. And the only reason I say that, because I want to make sure the glue's soft. I guess. I don't know. See the heat 
down through here. Here, right here. Just keep the tape up, take the glue saw off. Like that engine? <laughs> Pretty loud. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping. I think, I don't know if the tape is on. Even the glue on the silver, that's fine. That's just glue, we'll rub that off like we did on the We're just going to have to happen here and wait there, just rub that glue off like we did the window, have that red glue rubs off, just like that. We won't use that tape next time, but we are going to have to, as I can feel it, we'll just wait a second. This is not, this is nothing that's happened before, that's what was already there, but as I'm feeling that, there's a little bit of a ledge there. We're going to have to run our tape down just a hair from that, and we'll give that a sand off, that little ledge. That's nothing there, that's just piece of dirt or whatever, that's metallic standing up. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> this is what it is, you know what I'm saying. It's nothing it's not from us, but there's a ledge there where the primer is, you can tell. I just want to take this off slow. Back and forth, just easy. Right? Yes, I could rip it off faster, but I'm not interested in causing myself a, a disaster. See how that rhymed? <laughs> I could cut it off a lot faster, but I'm not looking for a disaster. Just inching it off, just going slow. When we're all done and it's, and it's off and it's done well, we'll be very happy. We'll be very happy. If we rip the paint off, we'll be mad and disgusted and can't be trusted. And we'll go backwards. <laughs> right? We'll go backwards if that happens. We're just taking our time. We'll get it off. And we'll retape it, clean it, wash it. This time when we when we do it, we're gonna have to lift the hood up. This time we primed it, we just put the, the foam all the way around the edge of the hood, and we put the tape up through the middle on the holes. This time we're gonna have to tape the engine compartment off. We're going to have to put a little black paint on the edge of the hood and then get it down and paint it. You know, we're going to have to do that because primer got down in there and I knew it would. And it's just, we're going to have to touch it up with the paint that we're using to spray the car. We'll have to go around the edge of the hood, spray a little paint on it. And then we'll slow the hood down easy. Underneath it will be primed. Whatever goes in there, hopefully we'll feather it off with the other stuff. Um, we'll go from there. And it's like all the other videos, if we did not show the process, you would not know, <laughs> would you? You would not know to take your to take your tape off before you spray, you know, after you prime. You would not know. And that right there should give you a reason why you should take off your tape before you spray. Whether it's black, silver, red, whatever. You've done a lot of priming. You've done a lot of dirt work. And uh, the best thing would be to do would be get it cleaned back up before you start over. glue going on there and there is a ledge there you can see where it's built up we're going to have to come over that again with 400 we're going to tape it we won't pull the tape off before we spray it because we're not going to put primer on again but we definitely are going to sand that little edge there because the pinstripe would not look good on that edge because there'll be a ledge there where the pinstripe is and we don't the pinstripe would show that you can feel it Doug if you want to you can feel a little edge there yeah we'll have to put a little tape on that because it's going to build up again when the black comes right Mm -hmm. So we'll put a little tape on this, just down to a sixteenth, and then we'll just run a little paper down on the 
take knock the edge of it off. Pinstripe wouldn't, wouldn't cover that? Well, you'll see it through the pinstripe. Okay. You could run it, I suppose you could run it flush with the black line, I guess, and leave a ledge on the bottom. You could do that, I suppose, but I'm thinking if you if you try to put it in the middle, you would see it in the middle of that pinstripe, probably. Probably. Not saying for sure, but I'm guessing. The dirt that fell down in there. Huh? That's just a freebie, Doug. That one, that's a freebie. Yeah. That's a freebie. Oh, I forgot to tell you, all dust is free. You have to pay for any of that. That might have been the perfect tape for taping over that, you know. Not the perfect tape for putting around the window, but the perfect tape for putting over the the seams for, you know, to hold the dirt and stuff out. It's not big and sticky, if you know what I'm trying to say. Pull the paint off. And we had to do it, you know. Try not to, but then you end up with a problem. taping on those. Okay. I might tape on them. I clean them all off with thinner or something to burn the tape on those and that's how I'll seal it off. And then I'll let the paint go down inside. Well, we wouldn't paint the rubbers on you. I've done that before too, Doug. <laughs> I've done that before too. That's how I know. <laughs> that's what I said about Jolene's car, that, <laughs> that poor little Mercedes. Someone showing up with a hood of her and looks <laughs> very <laughs> raw. Didn't they, baby? Huh? It would cost you Four or five thousand dollars just clean in the hood. <laughs> I just laughed. What can you do, right? We didn't do it. It was given to us. We were happy. You, you were happy with it. That's all you can be is happy. <laughs> we didn't pay for it, but wow. What a, what a, what a job that would be. You know, I've got my fingers and toes crossing. You've done it all the whole time I'm doing this. Yes, I know. That. <laughs> Fingers and the tape across and hold that. It's going good. It's going good. That's what you hope for. That's just dust coming out from sand it, how it ran down inside there. And that's the dust we would have had to deal with if we were painting the car before, if we didn't tape it off again. Now we get to blow that dust out and, and clear it out so there's no dust down in there. So we can spray it and be happy. Not saying that's um, all we're doing is eliminate, eliminating dust every time. That's all we're trying to do is eliminate it every time. And the more we eliminate, the less we get in the paint job. Simple as that. Doug, what are you going inside to use the bathroom, the little boys' room? You going up to use the little boys' room? No, I was going to get a can of oil and uh, rip up that shipper. <laughs> you couldn't take the stress. But that's basically what's going on. The stress is trying to get this tape off. Just going slow, trying to make sure it doesn't pull off the gray. And that's all we want to do. Nothing more, nothing less. So I'm going to do a couple more jobs. I want, I want to do, I'm going to paint an air station for a friend of mine, I think. Um, we built an air station here a while back. I don't think he's got a painting yet. I'd like to do that for him. John's done so many things for us. He's given the brakes to Jolene for her car. Given, given me some valve paint. He's done many, many, many things for us employed me for many, many years, and I want to do something for him if I can. And this is the time to do it. I want to paint something for him, fix it up. And then I'm going to do something for, for Jim. And there's Ernie, and then I might... <laughs> there's a few people I'm going to do something for that I feel like doing something for. And uh, that's basically it. I'm going to do it for him, because I want to. Because I want to.
piece is folded over. I'm gonna take this piece off. Me putting new paint on that transmission, does it make it work better? <laughs> you know what it does though? It gives me a visual, makes it look better. Just going slow, man. I don't want to rip it off fast. I don't want to cause any damage. I, don't, I want to go forward, not backwards. Don't we, baby? Mm -hmm. Forward, forward, forward motion. We'll go backwards sometimes, but it's, you know what I mean? Not without knowing or trying to go forward. Make sure the paint doesn't pull off and we'll be happy, happy, happy. I'll get this side pulled off and that'll be good probably. I got one more piece up that front fender there. We'll get it pulled off. We are going to put a piece of tape on there and hit it again with a piece of sandpaper just to knock off that ledge. Makes me happy, you know, knowing that that's coming off, don't you know? Mm -hmm. That's good. at the front and we'll call one side done. You'll see how we got the tape off and on and what we're doing. delicate process I'm telling you this is a delicate process if you can understand <laughs> if the paint pulls off what what predicament we're put we're in if the paint pulls off and, and, and you know what I would do 
I would find a print stripe that fixed it. <laughs> or try to. What do you think, Doug? Have any, have any, uh, luck? Reverse hitting, hitting on that ball. There's a, the rod that was on reverse was off it when I, yeah, and uh, I just put it on there. It could be hitting the bottom of the transmission too. It looks like it might, could be whacking that. You might have to go another way. Also, on them transmissions, do you have to pull up or down to get it reverse? Sideways. No, I know that to get it reverse, but some of my old Ford, no, you have I, to. I know what you mean. He's a bang over. Is that anything like a hangover? No, it's spring loaded on the one side. You yeah. Hit it. I know this is taking time, but it is what it is, and it's got to be what it's got to be. And that's going to be what it's going to be, isn't it, baby? Huh? Craft dinner takes time, doesn't it? Huh? Old Brett Jody liked that one, didn't he? Even craft dinner takes time. Watch paint dry and you're pulling this off, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Not a lot of talk when it comes to ripping paint off, though, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. If I know what I'm trying to tell you. I'll be able to breathe once this is done. Huh? I'll be able to breathe. Feel the edge of the paint? Can you feel it? Feel that? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be nice paint, it would it? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll take some time, put our tape on the next one. Doug, this car would look good with no door handles. She's a nice big boat going down the side. You want me to weld the door handles shut? No, you can do that. Well, <laughs> your wife has already done that way. <laughs> you can practice on that. Okay. <laughs> practice on your wife's car too. That's what the boat did, eh? We're gonna, it's, is it an hour? Lots to watch then. Watch me pull off the, the paper and the tape. And this is the reason why I'm pulling it off now. It's because the mess I would have had after I'm done, it, it wouldn't be worth it to do that and pull that off and have it go into a fresh coat of paint. I want the, I'm gonna have to fix a few places in here. We'll tape it up fresh. I'll run some 220 in there and dig off some rough spots that there, there is. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm glad we made the decision to tape it over again. We could have, well, what you call that, we rushed it. We could have rushed it because we're doing it for whatever. We could have rushed it and painted it, but in the end, it would have been us right there. So we didn't do that. We, we, we went with experience and said, that told me to tape that all off and make sure you tape it up nice before you spray it. And that we're there, we have a less chance of bridging and we'll have a better chance of doing a better, cleaner job. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. So now we're just going to keep on untangling and pull this side off. You know what that's going to go like? Slow. And uh, we'll just keep going from there. We'll keep cleaning. We'll keep cleaning. And then we'll show you one tomorrow. Doug's playing with the transition because he can't help himself. He likes to keep busy. But that's what will happen. And uh, that's why we're trading. So we're going to do a few more things after this. Thanks for following. Comment, like, and share. And ring my bell. What? It's my party and I cry if I want to keep the camera on. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody.